This is Streamline News for Tuesday, October 18th, 2011, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. The first day of swimming in Moscow at the FINA World Cup gave us some pretty exciting racing. Hidemasa Sano of Japan and Chad Laclo of South Africa took down Michael Phelps in the 200 butterfly using strong final 50 meters to take down the Olympic champ. Sano touched first in 151.62 and Laclo was second in 151.95. Phelps was well back in third in 153.24 and rebounded later in the meet to win the 100 IM in 52.19. Missy Franklin was the bright spot for the American contingent in Moscow, tying with Allison Schmidt in the 200 free and winning the 200 back. Franklin and Schmidt touched together in 153.27, with California team Chelsea Cheneau getting third with a 157.08. Franklin came back later in the meet to win the 200 back in 203.61 after posting a 202.81 in prelims. Several members of the U.S. youth team are in Moscow to get international experience. Franklin was part of the 2009 youth team that traveled to World Cup and now is showing her peers what could be possible for them in a couple of years. In addition to Cheneau's third place in the 200 free, the youth team racked up another bronze from Chase Kalish in the men's 400 IM and a silver from Haley Flickinger in the women's 800 free. Ye Shi Wen and Lu Zhuangzhu gave notice that they could be a threat for medals at the Olympics in the 400 IM next year with two fast swims at the Chinese National City Games. Ye Shi Wen won the race in 433.66, a personal best that is now second in the world behind Elizabeth Beisel's 431 from Worlds. Li Zhuangzhu swam a 434.33, which is the best time for her this year, and moves her to fifth in the world. Yi is now the reigning world champion in the 200 IM and finished fifth in the Worlds at, in the 400 IM. Li was right behind at Worlds in sixth place. The gold medals continue to pile up for the United States and Brazil at the Pan American Games. While many at the times are not meeting expectations, it should be noted that the pool is located at 5,000 feet, so the altitude is likely affecting many swimmers. The highlight of last night's competition was the, was the controversy surrounding Leonardo de Deus in the men's 200 fly. After touching first in 157.92, officials disqualified the Brazilian after they determined that he had an author, unauthorized sponsor on his cap. Meet rules state that only the manufacturer of the cap could be advertised, and as you can see in this photo, the cap shows a non-swimming cap sponsor on the side. This is likely the cap that Deos used at the World Championship since all athletes were required to wear a cap showing Yakult on the side. The Brazilian Federation appealed the ruling and won, officially giving Deos the gold medal. Dan Madwet of the U.S. prevented a Brazilian podium sweep with a second place finish time of 158.52 to Kyle Almeida's 158.78. Other top swims include a 1-2 finish in the women's 100 breast with Andy Chandler and Ashley Wanland, and a surprise victory in the 100 back by IM specialist Tiago Pereira. Tonight's finals will be highlighted by the men's 200 freestyle in which all eight swimmers posted in the 150 range in prelims this morning. Matt Patton and Scott Robeson of the U.S. are in the final as are brothers Sean and Brett Frazier of the Cayman Islands, both of whom are former NCAA champions in the event. You can find full recaps of all the meets mentioned on today's show by going to our world channel at swimmingworld.com. And that's going to do it for Streamline News. Thanks for watching.